I hate soup. <laughs> All my life's been thin, cruel, and empty promises. Anything to calm the gro groaning stomach, just like in London. Listen here, people. It's either soup or nothing. You you can pick. Hello, guys, and welcome to my Let's Play of Frostpunk. This is a game I haven't wanted to play for a while. Uh, I got it a while ago in Epic Games. And I just heard about this sequel coming out. So I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and play this game finally. Um, and it's it already the soundtrack is pretty good. Um, and, and I'm both scared and excited to play the game. I'm scared because I'm sure you guys watching know exactly how to play this game. And I'm scared because... Specifically because I have no idea how to play this game. I played it once on another friend's on a friend's PC, and I had no idea what I was doing. I wasn't even taken seriously then, so I just kind of missed about. And I think I lost pretty fast. <laughs> so I don't know how cruel this game is gonna be, but I hope it's not gonna be too cruel. But let's go ahead and start a new one. Just um, uh, yeah, don't be too harsh on me, okay? I have not played the game properly before. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. I have heard it's pretty hard though. So, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too tough. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. who remained came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. That actually gave me goosebumps. Wow. Okay, so before we begin, I just want to say I'm a sucker for games with alternate history. And it seems like in this world, global warming has either already happened or the streams in the, go or the Gulf Stream suddenly stopped working. I think that's why this game takes place. In case you're wondering why I think that, it's because according to what I have heard in geography, which was a while ago said geography, but based on what I understand, is that the Gulf Stream is both hot and cold water. Now, if uh, and, and because the ice is melting where the Gulf Stream goes to, there's no way to get cold water into the stream if all the ice melts. What that means is the stream becomes extremely hot, but then there wouldn't be a stream because the stream requires uh, both cold and hot water to kind of fight in order for there to be a stream. And with no stream, there's no way to transport uh, or to cool down hot areas. And that also means there's no way to uh, bring warm water to cold areas as well. And that means that uh, since you can't cool down the already cold areas, the cold areas are going to become bigger and bigger, and the hotter areas are going to become hotter and hotter. There's going to be a big separation somewhere. That's how I understand it anyway. That's the simple explanation of how I understand it. If I'm wrong, uh, you can try to leave it in the comments section. Uh, but that's at least me trying to simplify how it works. And it seems like that is what they're going with here. Um, which is why they probably said the tides changed, because it just mean that 
change was happening. Anyway, a new home. Uh, we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, uh, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the side of the exist generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now. And that the world as we know it has crumbled. Let's try to survive. It also looks pretty good. Uh, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, it will freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Uh, is there a... You can pause. Okay, good. Oh, wow. It's very... <laughs> it's very sensitive to going that way. Is there a way to drag? Can I drag forward? I can. Okay, this is way more smooth. Oh, look at the effects on the screen, too. I like that. Uh, all right. So, uh, I have 80 homeless. So, I guess my first step is to... Okay, what do I know about the generator? So this is stress level. What is this? Temperature? Consumption. Uh, so do I have coal anywhere? I have coal out here. Yeah, I have coal out here. Okay, and that means that I can use that in order to do stuff, correct? Okay, game. Uh, stockpile some coal. How? How? How do? How does one do that? Oh, I click here and then I assign workers and engineers. Okay. Uh, this is coal, correct? No, that wood crates. What? Do we have any coal that's close by, so I don't have to walk too far? Yes, we do. So fifteen people are assigned to get the coal, correct? Uh, I don't need engineers to get coal. I don't think that's necessary. And up here we have my resources, steel, wood, coal, and steam cores, which don't know how to get more steam cores. I'm going to have to craft them. Oh, well, let's see how that goes. Now, I need to be careful. Since I only have 80 people, that means that I also need to uh, be careful about who I send to do what. All right, so these are all my people walking down here. Uh, oh, I can change the names. Okay, since I can change the names, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, all the people that left a comment in the past that wants the name, I'll just put the names in here. So this is going to be uh, Red Velvet Kitty. I'm, I'm sorry you're going to be a man, but um, it's only for this let's play. I, I can make you a woman if you want. So here we go. We'll make this Red River Kitty and then we'll change the other one. We'll have two, a man and a woman, just for fun. Velvet uh, Kitty. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to find another one that is Hero the Zero. Whoops. I think that's on top of the already existing name. Hero the... Zero. Did I accidentally, like, not apply it before? Oh, I did apply it. Okay, good. Let's see how they do. Hopefully they don't die. Okay, so these guys are currently collecting coal and stuff. Uh, is there a way for me to... People are content. Okay. Summary. Okay, let's try this out. Camera, move, zoom in and out. Yes. Uh, rotate. Okay, I didn't even know that. A resource and workforce. Uh, resource management is crucial. Um, you need coal, wood and steel necessary for construction and research. Alright. How, how do I research though? I also need food. I probably need to build tents. Now I know you're going to have to build pads at some point. So I kind of have to think about that. I'll just have to have them working normally here. Oh, it pauses it automatically when I'm in the build menu. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, how how do I want to do this? 
Uh, yeah, we, we, we'll just build these for now. Uh, how many do, do a tent hold? Don't know if I know that. So everything that's heat level one, I have to keep sort of hot. Yes, yeah, so, so one seems to be necessary to be close and heat level two means what exactly? Okay, I guess, I guess I'll figure that out as we go. Is it going? No. Uh, how do I... There we go. Perfect. Alright, they'll just be going. Uh, do these people just build when they're not doing anything else? That would be nice. So we're just stockpiling coal. Uh, I'm guessing I need to make a place to put the coal. How, how do I exit the menu to press escape? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. So cool, though. Children, Paul, Wunziman, and Char Charlotte. Book of Laws and Economy. Not gonna mess with that yet. Uh, what about Book of Laws? What does that do? Adaptation. Find ways to battle hunger, sickness, and apathy. Oh, so do I have to pick between two? Shall labor save jobs. What? There aren't enough hands to do all the work. We'll allow children to be employed in safe workspaces like cookhouses or hothouses. That's actually a nice idea. Child workers can be injured in accidents. Ch children will be safer if they are in the child's shelters during the day and they won't cause any mischief. No, I, th I think having children work would probably be the best choice. Especially here. So you know what? Uh, let's see what this does. City. Surely we can find a way to educate some of them. <laughs> Maybe. Aren't used to working, they'll get hurt. I, I don't I don't care. Well, this is a, a do or die situation. You don't just have to not do anything. And then I they want me to turn it on. Heat circular zone around it, powers all steam. Uh, if it shuts down, all heat zones disappear after a few, few hours. Okay. So these requires temperatures, right? That's chilly. Okay, that's good to know. You need six coal to turn the steam level on one. I, I will turn it on whenever I have enough. Uh, so don't worry about that. And I'm waiting for this to go all the way around, correct? Five available, might as well make use of all of them. Uh, there's a coal pile. Do I have anything else? Because I need steel too. Five, five people can do this. Uh, food is also going to be a thing I need to take care of. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, uh, wood crates, and steel wreckage. Uh, how do I make a path? Uh, this metal street. Wait, street. Uh, build street. The all I kind of want is to make a street going. No, not there. Going from from over here to about over here, I'd say. Okay, that's kind of all I want here. All good. 
Uh, I might also want them to do that. Wait, what is it? No roof of overheads. I'll I'll provide to provide shelter for thirty people. Uh, I'll provide shelter for thirty. I'll I'll try to do that. Okay. Thank you, people, for giving me guidance. I appreciate it. I have to do this. Okay, so I'm guessing the heat is going to be transferred around this thing, as far as I know. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it would suck if I'm completely wrong about that. So they're building a street here to make sure that you can get over there without any issues. I'll do the same over here to make people more efficient. Uh, can I build it like this? I think I can. Okay, good. Uh, maybe I should try to uh, make, make it a little bit more so, so we can make use of all the space. Wait, before that, can I... Dismantle street? Wait, don't do that anyway. I kind of want to know, if I want to build a tent here, it has to be the exact path that's already there. Okay. No, not this, not this metal street. Uh, build street. And if I were to do the same thing over here and just dismantle this, this is just to save me future headaches, in all honesty. Bear with me while I'm trying to get used to all the different mechanics. Uh, I might be wasting resources, but I will see what I can do. And wh where should this be, by the way? Going straight to the middle? Good, sure, I can do that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Just focus on building the homes. That would probably be the best choice right now. Uh, so right now it's 20 degrees Celsius, correct? Okay, let's make things a bit faster. Uh, the wisdom of the ground. Captain, when facing demand, remember this, people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you. I'll do my best. If my base is not good enough, well, it's your guys' fault for believing in me. Uh, Alright, I, I guess I'll wait until it actually gets super cold. Uh, shelter promise fulfilled. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, the generators are oh, people were afraid. They'll freeze today. They're asleep. Uh, if you don't, at least turn it on for the night. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, how... Steam level 1? Uh, consumption. I can see how much I can have it on, correct? Okay, that's good. As long as we collect enough coal, we can mitigate the amount of use it has. Correct? Correct? Yeah, I, th I think so. Okay, so... Don't have enough wood, huh? So we have a bit of food... No, we have no... F we have meat. Raw, raw food. So we need to cook it. Alright, I still want to know what the whole idea is behind, uh... Okay, what did I just do? Oh, there we go. The other stuff. Temperature. Uh, controlling time, I know that. Construction, use the construction tool. Buildings inside the heat zone are warmer and provide better living and work conditions. Uh, valid placement, invalid and conditional placement. Uh, radial grid. Okay. Generator. 
The generator heats a circular zone around it, consuming at least 6 units of coal per hour. You can research generator upgrades that raises the heat output, expand the heat zone and reduce coal usage. Seems very useful. Uh, the temperature inside the building depends on the power uh, setting of the generator. If the building is in a heat zone, that building's installation and the conditions outside, there are 6 temperature levels. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, freezing. Uh, keeping homes and workspaces as warm as possible helps prevent people from falling ill. Some work uh, places might become inoperable if temperature falls too low. To know, very good to know. Okay, still, still have some homeless people. Uh, I want to build homes for them, and I, I mean everyone. It might take a little while though. Have to at least go through the night. Sickness, the number of sick and gravely ill people. That has a plus icon. The sick can be treated safely. The gravely ill can receive uh, radical treatment. The gravely ill and amputees... Amputees? <laughs> okay. The gravely ill can be cured safely. I see. Look at this. We have like a little hole we're just living in. And the nice. But yeah, I'm a very, I'm a very big sucker for like games that takes place during an earlier time period. At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. Oh, for sick. We're doing fine, all things considered. Could you guys go out and work? Like, I really want you guys to go out and work right now. Uh, what do I want? To stay in life. To stay alive, we can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputation. Um, we'll try everything to cure the gravely ill, from invasive surgery to amputations. All jobs. Sometimes you concentrate on the task at hand to cause up everything else to die. Wow, okay. Kind of crazy. Soup. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Our food additives. We can add sawdust to meals to make them more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. I would say just do soup, if that's the case. <laughs> Extra rations for the ill. Uh, extended shift, dueling law, uh, child labor, all jobs. Okay, uh, let's go with soup. I, I think that's the best one out of these two. New law. A new law has passed. I hate soup. <laughs> All my life's been thin, cruel, and empty promises. Anything to calm the gro growling stomach, just like in London. Listen here, people. It's either soup or nothing. You you can pick. Actually, wait. Can I can I cancel that? Cancel. Uh, I want to build one of these. That requires twenty-five wood. How much do we have? Thirteen. We can go with this speed. Ooh, the generator hums with reassuring warmth. Wait, the generator hums with reassuring warmth, but uh, we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. No, now food. There'll be n there'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. I would probably argue that we need a medical post more because uh, people are falling ill. So I'll build one of those. And then I build a cookhouse afterwards. So I don't know if base heating level 2 means that it needs less heat or if it means it needs more heat. I think it means it means less heat so I can place it further outside the area. Workforce. Shift switch, emergency shift. Nah, it's not necessary. 
Uh, workforce, some buildings such as medical posts and workshop require intense mental labor from people employed there, and uh, as such can only be staffed by engineers or workers only provide manual labor. Children can't be employed at all initially. You can check your workforce and yada yada yada. Okay. Only employs workers, and the cookhouse employs both workers and engineers, and the workshop only employs engineers. So I need to save my engineers for the workshop. Uh, actually, maybe not. Uh, children, can you help with gathering this? Like, I won't make them do dangerous things. We should have this going now, right? An operative? Oh, that scared me. The shift is ending. Jesus, don't scare me like that. <laughs> that really scared me. Okay. Okay, uh, that means you guys could potentially go out there and get that. But we need, we need trees, though. We need wood. Uh, wood crates over here, too. Alright, children, you take care of that. I will be um, managing the stuff. How is this looking, by the way? Our consumption is not that bad. I think it only heats this up right now. Will rise one level, will drop significantly two levels. So until that goes that high, I don't think I need to worry about it. We make a coke house here for now. Actually, no, we don't. Wait, no, we don't. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna have to make the coke house here. And where would I place a hunter's hut? Like, what's the, what's the point of this? Uh, a hunter's hut does what? Hunters based at the hunt, uh, base here hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track their prey in the frozen wasteland. They provide up to 15 raw food a day. So it doesn't matter where I put this. They hunt outside the city, so I can literally just put it anywhere, right? Let's put it out there. This is the cookhouse, right? Yeah, cookhouse, and then we can provide uh, food. Uh, let's actually have one person working in here, in case anyone gets sick. Five are being treated. People from our convoy. Uh, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. We'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Uh, build the beacon. What? Build a workshop, build a beacon, rescue survivors of our lost expedition. Okay, I see. How are things going, though? Five workers. <laughs> Go out and hunt. You can do it. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to make engineers make food. And... Uh, that's four. That's... I mean, it's, it's a standard meal for now. Do they hate eating soup that much? Like, th is it really gonna hurt if I have them eat soup? Sick absences? That's okay. I, I understand why you're not working if you're sick. Boom! Time to get to work! Kevin engineers treat sick for now. Let's do three. Uh... You need food. Child injured at work. Scold this kid for being careless. 
Now this child won't work for 24 hours. Hope will rise flat. Yeah, just give him a day off. It's fine. I don't care. He's hurt. Oh, hungry. So people are getting hungry. Uh, I am making soup. I actually need more. Uh, so what I will do is I will as I know of the, none of these guys that's going to be all kids and engineers because engineers are not going to be useful right now and then hunting I'm going to assign the wrist um, same thing with this I think I will make all of these go in here instead that way we should stop having sick people depending on if this provides for 20 of them We need another hunter's hut. Okay, just give me seconds by being treated. Weather changes. Uh, it's gonna be colder, I understand. Three sick absences. Oh, wow, okay. You guys go out and hunt at night. It's necessary. We don't want people to starve here. <laughs> Gotta save in the food. Oh, I can make another law. I, I completely missed that. Uh, emergency shift, child labor, all jobs, I think. I think that is kind of what I need right now. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. This will end with a child dying at work. Mark my words. What do you mean, child dying at... Listen, the children are only collecting things for now. Oh, you guys are going out to hunt stuff, correct? Okay, that's cool. The pretty cool premise. Oh, no. Okay, so, um... I'm going to need to be careful with this. I'm running out of coal. Build a coal mine here to start extraction. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. That's life right now. I will have to shut it down for now. Don't worry, it's just for now. Um, a protective mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work, afraid she'll get injured. Uh, we could look the other way this time, but others might see this as unfair. Uh, it's fine. I mean, just for 24 hours, right? All right, and with that, I'm also going to have to end this video here. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very in-depth. Like, I, I don't I don't really know what I'm doing half the time, but like, I also feel like I'm learning, you know? I feel like I'm trying. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.